Thank you. Thank you. I'm the, uh, the next speaker. I'm really happy to speak next on that, uh, that issue there. I said right at the beginning of the meeting uh, when the delegation spoke, I felt fair is fair. Uh, and that is the true meaning of my amendment. Um, to use the excuse in that, I mean, if you all remember as council members that this, under the integrity commissioner, Everything was based on value-based. We all supported that here on council going on value-based. And that what we dealing with, oh, some didn't, but the majority of council, it was a motion on council that it would be done on value-based. It was a recommendation of a former CAO here in the city. And to actually sit here and really say, I mean, you're all supposed to be intelligent enough as a board of directors of a major corporation of the city of Brampton to know what you're allowed to spend your discretionary expense based on value based. Taking your wife out to dinners and to theaters on private, non sanctioned city events was never, absolutely never, part of my 29 years of this policy of the city. Neither was joining organizations that had absolutely nothing to do with the city of Brampton and that you should have the intelligence to know that you shouldn't be expensing that to the city. If you want to join those organizations, you pay out of your pocket. If you want to take your spouse or family members to an event that is not a city-sanctioned event, you know that you're going there for your own personal pleasure, and the taxpayers of this city should not be paying for that. And that, bottom line, is the reason for my amendment. Absolutely, there was three members mentioned in that integrity commissioner's report based on that. We are dealing with two separate reports here tonight, folks, or this afternoon, sorry, soon to be tonight, was the Deloitte report and the integrity commissioner's report. Two separate reports. This motion deals with both of those reports. And my amendment is on the issue of the integrity commissioner's report three name members the penalty should be imposed exactly the same as them i do have a seconder for the motion and i don't know if they have a personal vendetta or not i don't believe so my reason for it is that is what we should all know every single member of council should have known in dealing with that and what you were allowed to expend my penalty was absolutely i paid it 145 dollars i got it the invoice for a city for $1,315 and I paid for it. And then the Deloitte came out and said, you forgot to pay the HST. It was never on the invoice. I'm not gonna question that. I'm gonna pay the invoice and that. So absolutely willingly I paid the HST that was owing on that invoice as I should have. But you gotta get the invoice first with the right figure before you pay it. And that's the only infraction that I had in dealing with that from Deloitte as my position to go forward. So has nothing to do with this amendment whatsoever and that everybody breached I breached also with that one issue on my own personal but this amendment absolutely should go good for should go forward if you want to start and I wish the new mayor all the best in dealing with the new council that's coming forward and that and in dealing with these issues and that type of thing and it should be revisited there was also a motion that Nobody has presented here yet today, but there was a recommendation that absolutely on January 1st, the new, integ new integ code of conduct should be dealt with. And I certainly hope that the new mayor will come forward with a complete new code of conduct and everything will be spelled out. So at least the new council members for coming forward, because they don't seem to have some of them the intelligence of dealing with market value and know what they're supposed to do as running a corporation, that at least it be spelled for, out for them word for word so you know what you can spend your money on and what you can't spend your money on. That's absolutely ridiculous to use the issue of ignorance and not knowing. Boy, oh boy, that, that, that's what really amazes me. And that in dealing with it over the number of years that members of council have been on here and still thought that they can take advantage of the public and the taxpayer by, by their own personal gains. Councillor Sanderson, you're next. I'm almost afraid to. Well, you know what? Thank you very much. Enough's enough. 